The animal village has so many different people, and animals. Well, you've seen some of them over this last bit of time. Well, the Animal Village Church always likes to reach out to some of the people or are members of the Animal Village who just haven't been around. And, well, kind of a fairly new resident, Don Dragon, Doug Dragon, uh, he's been around but not around, and he's kind of kept by himself. And anyways, so Jerry Giraffe, who is the pastor of the Animal Village Church, uh, decided to ask Purple Boy if he would go and uh, say hello to, to, to Doug and find out what exactly uh, he's doing. But there's a problem, and Purple Boy's going to tell you about it. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm not ready to go. My, my mommy and the rest of my purple relatives said, never, never see a dragon. They don't like dragons. They're scary. So I'm scared. Why did I even say yes to Jerry Giraffe? I know, I know you want me to go, but I don't want to go. I'm so scared. I'm going to his house. I'm going to his house. I'm not going to. No, no, no. Okay, Lord, I'll knock on the door. He's not home. I... Wait. Ah! Hi, what do you want? <laughs> well, now you've seen me around. I'm Purple Boy, part of the animal village, and I was supposed to stop by and see you, and, 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 and... Calm down. Could you stop shaking? You're making me... You're making me a little bit dizzy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we miss you around, and we thought we would stop and say hello. And uh, I said hello, and... Wait a minute. <laughs> would you stop it? Oh, uh, all right. All right. That was one of the nicest things you could do. What? Um, by the way, you don't happen to like... Licorice. What? You like licorice? Nobody else in the animal village likes licorice. I do. Wow. Oh, I feel so much better. I do too. You know, I've been wanting to find somebody who could be a friend, and, well, I think I found one. Yeah. Uh, I would like to be your friend. Wow. This is huge. Oh, I, I really, you're really just like anyone else. Well, of course, just because I'm a dragon. Oh, okay. Well, give me a minute. I got to call my mommy. Hey, mommy. Guess what? I have a new friend. Yeah, a dragon. Mommy? Mommy, you still on the phone? Oh, I'll have to email her later. Well, come on in. All right. By the way, are you hungry? Well, yeah. Because I'd like some lunch. Me too. Uh, how about a barbecue? Barbecue? I don't see any grills. With me, we don't need grills. <laughs> Purple Boy is like us sometimes, especially when we have to do something we don't want to do or are scared. I'm sure you've been that way before. And you find out, well, it's not so bad. You know, this morning we have in Scripture a story about Jesus getting baptized. And, you know, when you think of Jesus sometimes, I think you probably are told he's the Son of God, and uh, he's awesome and powerful, and God is powerful and awesome. But, you know, this morning when I talk about the baptism of the Lord, it's Jesus saying that he understands our good days, because that baptism kind of remembers that we do have bad days too. And he doesn't want to be just with us on the days we say, Jesus, I'm good. But he's with us on the days that we say, Jesus, I've messed up. And that's really huge. That's special. So remember, as you continue to learn about the faith, always know that Kind of like Purple Boy, when you think of God, sometimes you think he's awesome and God can be scary, that God wants to know how much God wants to walk with you as a friend. 
And he did that in Jesus. So never forget that. And you'll always have someone by your side that you can trust, who loves you, who forgives you, and will never, never, never leave you. And you just never know that you might be able to share that with someone else too who really needs it. Let's pray together. Repeat the prayer after me. Dear God, Dear God, God thank you, thank you that your son, that your son walks with me, walks with me each day, each day. And all the people said, Amen. Amen.